Liam, uh, we spoke um, uh, we spoke over a few weeks about being frustrated. You didn't like to say that, but is that another one today? Yeah, I think so. I think um, from numerous angles, you know, I think the goal we conceded was was poor, was disappointing. Um, but then as a group's done so many times, responded in the right way and again worked really hard against a good press to create, you know, a, a really good goal, which we, we took really well. Uh, and then obviously, I think even after that 11 v 11, I thought we created a couple of really good chances. You know, Twiney had a couple and obviously just sending off, you know, plays a key part in the game. It changes, you know, uh, what we're playing against. So it goes from being against a, a high press to a low block. So, you know, that then brings a different challenge for the guys to solve. And yeah, it wasn't wasn't quite their second half. Didn't quite create enough, you know, clear cut opportunities, which uh, it's always always going to be difficult when you're facing 10 that defend the box. Manager quite often say it's more difficult playing against 10 at times, and I mean they dropped so deep at times they were no more than 20 yards outside their you know their own goal, and it, it just seemed like a brick wall that you was you, you were trying to break down. Yeah, and I think you know the perception is it is oh, they've got a man less, you've got all the ball, it's easy to do, but you know you know they they're a real honest group of players you know here at Accrington, and you know they defended well, they they were honest, they were hard working, they dug in, um, and then the challenge is on us to have the you know the quality and the discipline more than anything to. You know, create create a good opportunity second half, and we had a couple of I'd say decent half chances. You know, one, I thought Twani had a good one second half. One landed to Mo in the box. You know, the, the, the cross and skip at the end. There was, you know, three that you you're hoping land in, but uh, wasn't to be. So you know, we have to pick ourselves up and go Tuesday. You mentioned the goal, quality goal from from the ball being picked up in the in the midfield, and and Mo Isa. Um, Similar to the to the Morecambe goal, twisted, turned, and, and got his shot away, and that must be what you're looking. For. He's, you know, he's there to score goals, and that, and that was a good one for him. Yeah, it's actually very similar to the first one against Rackerington at home, um, where he pulls down the side of the centre half. You know, one v one, works his feet and finishes it well. So, I'm pleased for him. You know, he's, he's had a tough time, which he'll openly admit. And you know, what's got him through that is by you know being really open to you know feedback and taking it on, and you know trying to change it in games. And you know, I thought he uh, took his goal really well. Charlie Brown leaving means that he, at the minute anyway, yeah, he's one of the only strikers at the club, so there's a, a, a lot on him at the minute. Yeah, I think, you know, spoke a lot about it, goals from a variety of sources, and you know that, that when you look at it day, Twiney's had chances, Matt O'Reilly had a good chance, you know, Troy, half chances, Mo, so, you know, PK as well, I think it's, you know, we can't leave it just to our nine to score goals, I think that's really important that, that we do have goals from everywhere. Sumu, it's disappointing for him. Obviously, you probably don't know the extent uh, of it yet. Felt a twinge in his hamstring. That seems. Yeah, felt, felt a twinge. Um, he's obviously extremely disappointed. He's worked hard to get back in the team. Um, you know, he did well at Charlton the other night, and he started the game, you know, reasonably well today. So it's yeah, it's, it's disappointing. We have to go away, see, see, you know, how serious it is, and you know, make sure that we support him and pick him up. Games coming quick, quick and thick and fast is what I'm trying to say. Uh, obviously, so um, you're going to need the need the squad probably over the next few weeks. Yeah, longer than that. I think to the end of the season, when you look at it, I think there's you know Saturday, Tuesday, Saturdays were you know quite quite often. So yeah, we have to we have to make sure that the guys are physically, mentally in a good place. I think you know this stage of the year as well is you know rests equally as important as training. So it's just finding that right balance. So you know we have to we have to make sure we look after all the squad. What did you make of the red card? I haven't seen it back to be fair. I know Dan's got a Dan's got a mark on his on his you know on his groin, which you know doesn't look nice, but you know. Whether it's a stamp, I'm not so sure. I'd have to see it back. Um, you know, the, the, the feedback I've had from the guys, it, you know, it wasn't malicious, it wasn't intent. So, yeah, I'd, I'd have to see it back to be totally honest. I mean, it's obviously the, the thing that changed the game because, as you mentioned, it felt quite open prior to that, and then as soon as the red card was shown, that was it. They just shut down. Yeah, we, we started slow. I thought we, we didn't start great the first ten minutes. Obviously, with a goal, and yeah, it's hard when, when they, you know, when you get a team that presses you man for man, and you know they so physical. You know, you then have to. You have to think quicker. You have to move quicker. You have to support each other quicker, and you know that's it's difficult to do. Um, and I felt, you know, after sort of 15, 20 minutes, we started to started to do that. To be fair, and started to uh, you know go through them quite well. You know, the top of the box with, with Troy and Twiney, I thought was really important to, to be able to do that. And they started to get on the ball a lot more, and we started to get a bit more joy. Hence the the chances we created. So um, yeah, frustrating. Um, after seeing it with Gillingham last week, and then again today, it's something you're going to have to come up against quite a lot it feels like teams parking the bus yeah and no, I think it's you know it's, it's not easy playing against the block especially you know when you've got teams that are you know so well organized and so disciplined with it is you know the perception is it because you've got all the ball you know you should be creating loads of chances but you know you, it doesn't work like that they they dug in they showed it you know real character and grit to defend the box and you know credit to them for that but you know with the quality I know we've got in our team I'd, I'd expect us to do more